Hey everybody, it's me again, and I'm going to create a short video that shows you um, timers in Swift 3. How to use timers, and uh, we're going to use also progress bar, so we'll do two things at the same time. So I created this app, small app, it's called Timer Test, Timer App. And then we're going to go, go ahead and go to the main storyboard. In the main storyboard, you have something called progress view. And the progress view is supposed to show how much work has been completed so far. So we're going to use a timer to animate this uh, pro progress view. Now, in the property of this progress view, you make it equal to zero to start with. And then we're going to create an outlet to this progress view. <coughs> And then I'm going to click here, right click, then do the outlet, and I'm going to call it preview, okay? Progress view, hit connect. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to set a timer that updates this view uh, every a fraction of a second. So if you go to the uh, view controller, this in the Swift. To do this, you're gonna define a global variable in which we're gonna call it uh, a value. Okay, so I'm gonna say var value. And I'm gonna make that a float because the timer, uh, the progress of you re require float. And you can make it equal to zero. All right, float if I can spell it correctly. Okay. Am I not, what the heck is going on? Oh, that, all right, var, okay, value, okay, and then say float, and then equal to zero. All right, and uh, in the, usually what happens when you want to update something on the screen, or you want to update, you want to execute a function every once in a while, we create a function, and a function, I've explained it before, it's a piece of snippet of code that, you can create or custom, you know, you can create it and then you can customize it, do whatever you want with it, all right? So I'm gonna create my own function and I'm gonna call that, uh, so to define a function, you do a simple way to create a function, you say function and then you give it a name. I'm gonna call it my update, okay? Okay, and then you can give it parameters. This time, this function does not require any parameters and it does not return any value. So it's a simple function. Okay, we'll come back to this function in a minute. Now, how do you do a timer? A timer, you define a timer because it's gonna be throughout, used it throughout the class. You just define it as a global variable. You can say timer equal, uh, I mean, the type of it is timer. Okay, and it's an optional variable. Okay, because it, it can be null. And I'm gonna, in the view did load, usually you create your timer and then you start your action. And usually it calls this update or this function that you wanna execute every once in a while. So for example, you can say here, here you can say um, timer <coughs> equal timer dot schedule timer. That means that it will happen every often. So what do you do? You can tell when do you want to execute this timer. So I'm going to do this every fraction of a second. Okay. And the target is your, this self view control self, this view controller. Now the selector, what is the selector? Selector is the name of the function that you want to execute. So you say select pound selector. And then it'll give you, when you type it, it'll give you the format of it. You hit enter, and then you, name, you type in the name of the function. Now, if you don't give it, if that function is not defined, you will get an error on this line. So it's better to define your function first, okay? And user info is nil. We're not passing any user info. And then here you can make that true. That means what? Repeated every half or 0.01 of a second. So this will keep executing unless you stop it. And I'm gonna show you how to stop it in uh, a little later. All right, so what are we going to do in here? First, we're gonna increase that time, uh, float, uh, that value. And then we're gonna make it equal to value. And then we're gonna to add to it 0 0.01, okay. And then I'm gonna update the progress view 
to that uh, set progress of you. And what is the value? Value, the one that you just created and animated true, that means it's gonna make it move, you know, th that progress will be animated, okay? So you say true in here. All right, that's all. So now if you run it, if you run this and see what happens, so what is gonna happen is gonna go in here, create a timer, and I will call this timer every fraction of a second or tenth of a second. Uh, and uh, not tenth, it's actually less than that. And uh, it keep calling it until you stop it, okay? And I'll show you how we do that in the next part. So let's take a look at this. Uh, you'll see that the progress keep going, right? But it's actually keep continuing to run. So how do we stop that progress bar from, con or this timer from continuing? Or what, we, what you can do, you can say, for example, you need to check. You can, after you increase the value, you can say, okay, did I exceed one? So you can say, if uh, value is greater than or equal to one, do that and then what happens you actually can do timer dot invalidate okay that means it will actually nullify it and then to be on the safe side you can say timer equal nil okay so that will actually stop it all right and how do i know that it actually stopped so what i'm going to do also i'm going to inform the user there is actually uh, an alert controller that's going to display that will be displayed to the user say that you're done and then it disappears okay so how do you do that you can do a, we're going to create an alert controller so you can say let a equal alert uh, controller <coughs> we haven't covered this in, in what in my quick way to introduce to what is alert controller alert controller and then what do you want the title to say done and the message what you wanted to say and say congrats okay and then the style okay the style you can we have two styles one of them is called action sheet where you actually list like buttons and it's like a menu and one is alert with a couple of buttons okay so i'm going to use alert all right and then after this you need to present this uh, controller so this is like a view controller the one you see in the storyboard but it, it's like pop up, okay? And now you say self.present uh, view controller. Okay, and then this is the one that we wanna present. This is the method that we're gonna use. What view controller? The alert view controller. And then we're gonna make it, yes, it's animated, true. And then when it's done presenting it, I wanna remove it. So I'm gonna hit enter here, select that code and enter. And then I'm gonna say um, a dot dismiss, okay? Dismiss itself, remove itself. And then yes, it is animated. And then when it's done, I don't wanna do anything with it. Just nil, okay? You can leave that in there. You could have just said nil, all right? Mm. And just type in new okay so what happens is that it's going to display this you create this controller it displays it and disappears from the screen okay now if the timer does not stops this will actually keep on going so without this this will actually keep going okay so now if you run it you'll see then it stops, you got the controller and it the, that uh, message and it disappeared. All right, so that is it. Uh, short, quick video about uh, timers, uh, progress bar, uh, progress view, and uh, maybe uh, an alert controller too. All right, uh, I will see you in the next video.